Dear Ocean Ava, Today marks the very first time that you reach a year since the day that your beautiful mom brought you out to this world. Mama and I are so sorry that this may not be the perfect time to introduce you to the world, but we assure you all the love and care you need to begin exploring the world with a smile on your face. It all began in an early Saturday morning in Krabi, Thailand in March 2020. I was enjoying my most pleasurable sleep when someone was suddenly tapping my left shoulder. I was still not totally waking up but the tap was getting stronger and faster. Your mom was so excited to show me something. When I finally opened my eyes, she showed me a piece of a test kit that presents two red lines. All the sleepiness in my body suddenly left me as I got up with excitement and cheer. I can't forget the way our eyes looked at each other. Within a moment before our full faces burst into complete euphoria. From there we realized we are no longer two, but three. In that moment, the two red lines became the symbol of our strong love for each other. Those two red lines were you. You, Ocean Ava. I know that you may not be able to understand all of this now, Ocean, but I'm sure this will be something of worth in the future in order for you to understand how you have been so loved by your mom and me, your papa. Since the day we realized that you started thriving in your mama's womb, she gradually stopped one of the things that she greatly loved, exercising. We tried to get all the best food we can get for your mom to eat to help you develop healthy in the little room inside her tummy. Since it was only four months since the coronavirus pandemic have been scaring the world, we locked ourselves inside our little room. The three of us. I would go to the market to buy you and your mom's needs and I would quickly come back for safety. Thanks to your uncle Devero, Hilbertson, and Claver, who helped us to buy our needs. You came like a magic to us, Ocean. You took away all the worries and sadness in our hearts and minds and turned it into excitement. And more love that grew even stronger. I was so excited for your mom's tummy to get bigger as you grow bigger too. But before it happened, your mama was busy munching every food that she thought about. Sometimes she craved for some blueberry cheesecake. Sometimes she just eats what is right there on the table. The thing is, she was always eating. <laughs> But the most important thing I want to tell you is how your mom has began sacrificing things for the best of you in her tummy. She has already given up exercising. Next was something which is actually more difficult than how it sounds. She was craving for something very sweet. But because too much sugar is bad for you, she was able to fight her cravings and ate something else like dragon fruits, bananas, mangoes and oranges and oh speaking about oranges during the first stages of your growing almost every morning was challenging for your mom she would wake up very early very dizzy she would throw up and stayed in the restroom for some time she would feel the same in the afternoon oranges helped her to stabilize herself from headache dizziness and morning and afternoon sickness. She would keep on smelling the orange peelings that gave her some relief. 
Then as time passed by, you were growing really fast. We went to the doctor for the first time and got even happier to know that you were doing excellent inside that womb. The doctor told us that you were so healthy and strong in there. When it was time to know your gender, your mom and I was contesting our guests. Your mom says, boy, but I said, girl. <laughs> but either ways, we would love anyway. Then we learned that you are a princess. Immediately, your mom was talking about girl clothes and girl toys. You were growing so fast, punching and kicking a lot. <laughs> you were showing your mama and papa how strong you were in that womb. I always went video hunting for your kicks. For all we've been blessed within this life, you, Ocean Ava, is the greatest one. We gave, we thank your grandmothers, grandfathers, uncles, aunts, nephews, nieces. We thank your Auntie Jovi for spending sleepless nights with us since the day you were born. And to everyone that surrounds us with love as we transcend it to you, our little one. Anna is in the delivery room right now and I just pray that everything is fine. Four two weeks. I'm being induced. See? We're waiting.
and tone Everything that I've got And if you ever wonder why we named you Ocean That is how your mama and papa love the environment The ocean is vast and beautiful Endless and strong Loving to its species Inside it and feeding the world Ava is what we got from your great grandmother Avelina She is a strong and loving person You will be a strong, loving, generous and respectful child of God Ocean Ava We call you Kuyapi by nickname to mark a very important message of not forgetting where you came from your family, your ancestors and your culture We love you and care for you, Ocean Ava. I can't describe how big my love for your mom is, but I will tell you that you mean the world to us. Happy first birthday. <laughs>